Welcome back to another Train Sim World 5 news video and specifically it's another developer update from Just Trains about the upcoming West Coast Mainline Preston to Carlisle route which is always going to be called the West Coast Mainline over Shap because that's what it's known as in Train Sim Classic I'm sure lots of people are going to call it that I keep calling it that the essential thing is it sounds like it's coming really soon and I, I, I'm I struggling to keep a lid on it, honestly. It's like quite exciting for me. But um, I thought as we looked at the initial article when it released, and there'll be a link coming up to that in the top right hand corner any second now, we just have a look at today's developer update because there's a lot of news on there. Uh, and there's a few more screenshots as well, which we'll get into, and a little time-lapse video, which you can go off and watch as well. So uh, the top section we covered last time. So here we are, 25th of September. And uh, welcome to the next development update covering our West Coast Mainline Preston to Carlisle route for TSW5. In this route, we've authentically recreated the 1986-1987 timetable using the correct working timetable and photographs of said services to provide as realistic an experience as possible, including formations and train lengths accurate as close as possible to that of the real trains. That's good. The timetable is, is hopefully going to be spot on from those two years. So that's something to look forward to. Most of the passenger services on the Preston Carlisle section of the West Coast Main Line were formed by electric locomotives which were either on the London to Scotland Expresses or the cross-country diagrams which came from all around England and Wales going onwards towards Scotland. The trains from London Euston used the more modern Mark 3A coaching stock as they were capable of higher speeds which was 110 miles per hour when combined with a class 87 and the Mark 1 NHA whereas the cross-country diagrams instead used Mark 2s which were limited to 100 miles per hour maximum. Both Carlisle and Preston feature numerous locomotive changes throughout the day, from diesel to electric traction and vice versa, with some diagrams requiring the station pilots to help facilitate a locomotive change. See, it's not just going end to end, is it? There's a lot of stuff to do, there's a bit of shunting to do, and similar to the diesel legends, I expect, where you form the train in the platform, we covered Diesel Legends as well just a couple of days ago. Uh, thank you for watching that one, by the way. That's been a popular one. Again, that's coming up in the top right. All locomotive changes only require the included Class 47, but for added variety, if the player owns any of the below packs, these locomotives will also be able to spawn. So from the Northern Trans Pennine, Manchester to Leeds route, there is the Class 45 slash 1. Also, from the Northern Trans Pennine route, the BR Heavy Freight Pack add-on, which was the Class 40, and the Class 31 Loco add-on, which was an add-on for the Tees Valley. So again, all the BR Blue stuff coming back in, if, if, you'll get the basic stock with this route, but if you've got all these add-ons, and we'll cover some more uh, coming up in the list just down below, you, it's going to fill it right out. It's going to be full this route i'm sure it's going to be full it says carlisle was well known for its trip workings between the multiple industries and carlisle kingmore marshalling yard for players who own the appropriate wagons you'll be able to shunt to your heart's content content your heart's delight it says that i made it i'm making it up now <laughs> taking wagons from kingmore yard to various locations around carlisle using the class 08 shunter for players able to drive to be able to drive these diagrams you'll require all these add-ons so you'll need the Tees Valley line the West Cornwall local the Spirit of Steam the Northern Trans Pennine Manchester to Leeds as we already mentioned Blackpool branches Preston to Blackpool and Ormskirk the heavy freight pack the class 31 and the class 20 which the class 20 was also for Tees Valley the only station on this route which sees no DMU services is Penrith as it's only served by intercity and cross-country traffic 
but the rest of the route is a hive of activity for them. From Preston, you'll be able to drive as far north as Cornforth with DMUs. Some of you will say that's long enough. <laughs> Whilst Lancaster is a constant hive of activity, with the Class 142 seen regularly alongside the Class 101 on the Leeds and Morecambe workings. In fact, one of the last 142s or paces that I actually took was between Lancaster and Morecambe. It doesn't seem that long ago either. So it's nice that the 142 is coming back in again. I'm looking forward to driving that somewhere else. All the DMU diagrams are playable by the player without any additional stock. But to be able to use the class 142, you will, of course, require the Blackpool branches. Now we get on to the freight and it says at night and during quieter periods, the West Coast mainline carried a high quantity of non-passenger traffic, which varied from intermodal and mail trains to heavy steel and limestone trains, which provide a real challenge climbing up the gradient to Shap. Intermodal trains hauling steel and, and trains hauling steel wagons, I'm sorry, are included in the route. But for other services like limestone, coal and speed link, you will require these add-ons to get the full experience. So once again, Tees Valley Line, West Cornwall Local, Northern Transpennine, Blackpool Branches, Heavy Freight Pack, Class 31, Class 20. And it doesn't stop there. To enhance the experience even further, we've added several rail tours and additional excursions running on the route, featuring a variety of traction, including both steam and diesel. One such highlight includes the Midday Scott, which is hauled by an LMS Jubilee from Preston to Carlisle, which is a challenge, especially in the wet. The amount of times that I've been to Cadley Causeway Bridge, which you probably saw when we looked at how far north can we already get up the west coast mainland if you saw that video where i was on the bridge the amount of times i've been up to that bridge and seen steam locos steam trains going up and down that section of the west coast mainland there's always steam trains coming through and um, to be able to actually drive rail tours and excursions in steam trains between preston carlisle which remember is 90 miles it's a decent run uh, getting them up the shap summit that's, that's brilliant it, honestly I like what they've done they've they've gone away and they've looked at all the other stuff that we've got for BR Blue and Steam etc and just try to incorporate it in so once again if you've got all these add-ons you know you've bought them probably quite a while ago and suddenly you're getting all this extra benefit again from having those already if you haven't got them then I'm sure you're going to be tempted to pick a few of those up so i it's oh, i mean just with the just with the stock that comes with the route it's quite exciting to me but to be able to you know pick from so many different locos and dmus etc oh it, it's going to be really good there's going to be so much to do there's a little section about the AI services as well. It says the route features a ton of AI only services along the route from the DMUs going to and from Blackpool to the locomotive hold diagrams coming into the bay platforms at Carlisle. These diagrams needed to, to be shunt released by the station pilot so the train loco could change ends. Uh, and then if you want to go to the article, because I'm going to put a link once again in the video description to get to this article so you can come and see it for yourself. but. There is a video here as well, and um, it's a time-lapse video set around 1am, showing just how much went on during the night with locomotive changes. Let's just play it slightly whilst we're... I've turned the sound off for now, uh, but you can see you can see what's happening. Uh, it's 1am, showing how much went on during the night with locomotive changes, coach swapping, and the general shunting of locomotives. And we've also got some screenshots below, which we're going to look at in a second. So I would encourage you to go directly to the article and uh, view this video on YouTube, uh, which I'm assuming is on the Just Trains. Uh, yeah, it's on the Just Trains channel. You may already be subscribed to them. If you're not, why not? Give them a click. Um, so that video is there. You can have a look at that and you can obviously make it bigger. This is just within the article. Um, but um, just to finish off shall we have a look at the screenshots that we've got this time so here we've got the uh, the 87 pulling some freight 
and uh, I am going to guess that's Lancaster. It looks like Lancaster to me, that. I could be wrong. Can't actually tell. I think it's Lancaster uh, heading north in that one. Uh, this one's definitely Carlisle. Here we got the 47 on a very a very moody evening or early morning that looks like uh, you see the nameplates as well I think that says Red Star so that's Red Star Parcels which was the uh, the British Rail uh, parcel service in fact yeah it looks like it is a it is a parcel service um, and uh, you remember me mentioning that before at Preston there was a Red Star Parcels platform at Preston so hopefully we're going to get some mail trains. Mail trains were mentioned in the article, weren't they? So hopefully we're going to get some mail trains as well to be able to uh, to run up and down between Preston and Carlisle. That'll be pretty neat. Then, of course, we have got the Class 08 shunter here at Carlisle doing its thing. These look like the... Uh, these are the PCAs, I think, from the Tees Valley, these ones, if I recall correctly. And then, of course, we've got the 31, which could actually be my favourite loco in the game. I've said it before and I've said it again. Um, if you don't own the 31, consider picking that up because uh, it's really nice to drive. Um, and I think these I think these wagons are from West Cornwall. Again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think they're from West Cornwall. And uh, we've also got the Pacer, of course, uh, stationed here at Morecambe, ready to go back the other way. And um, it's, only, it's only a short run between Lancaster and Morecambe. Um, but that's going to be fun, doing shuttle services between Lancaster and Morecambe. You could spend several hours just doing that. Um, and again, it's the Pacer. So what's not to like? And finally... Uh, we have got the uh, class 08 as well and uh, these these wagons have come from the Tees Valley um, you can see we've got an intercity there on the other platform very nice shot that there with the, the mist coming in I do like that so what do you guys think it's coming soon isn't it it's coming soon um, that's what the article said coming soon they're teasing us though because they're not telling us exactly when but look, we, it's it's nearly the end of September, so if it's coming by the end of the year, we haven't got long to wait, have we really? And uh, I just can't wait to get my hands on it. If you share this hype, <laughs> give me a thumbs up on the video, then I know. Uh, we're going to be playing this a lot when it comes out, and um, just to let you know. So if you want to come in and uh, watch the streams... And share a bit of that passion then uh, you're you're always most welcome as i always say so there you go go and check the uh, the article out itself um the link will be in the description and uh i want it now i said this last time i want it now <laughs> but thanks to just trains for the development update it's nice that they do keep us updated with how things are going uh teasers with these new screenshots that you know I love to see them, but at the same time, it's like torture. <laughs> it's just, I want it, I want it. <laughs> so, I'm going to go and have a lie down now. So, um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Do give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got over 11,000 subscribers. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, we'll talk soon. Take care, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye for now.